Right, click here to subscribe. That's going to be staying up there, and I'm close to 100 now, so it'd be really nice if you were a 100th subscriber. And if you were, I would probably do something special for you, like send you a free book. Anyway, yeah, another webcam Wednesday, and today I want to talk about Richard Briers. Now, I'm a little bit ambivalent about actors because I feel like an actor's job is to be invisible. Now, Richard Briers, obviously, because he's a personality, he's not invisible. And actors that are not invisible are sort of failing in their trade, in their craft, as it were. But leaving that aside, he does actually have a lot of positive memories for me. For a start, obviously, the most prominent thing he's been in was The Good Life, along with Felicity Kendall. And in fact, I thought about illustrating this with a sort of jiggly animated picture of um, Richard Briers and Felicity Kendall as rhubarb and custard. But I don't think my uh, animation skills are really up to that, so I didn't do that. Um, yeah, The Good Life was one of the many influences that led me to an alternative lifestyle as the kind I live now. Um, there were a lot of others. For example, The Middleman was another one. Um, and I, some people say, for example, Liz says that I am a little bit like the character of Tom Good in some ways because of being fairly cussed and uncooperative and just doing things my own way. And in a way, we sort of live this lifestyle because here we are in suburban, um, well, suburban Leicester, I suppose, uh, doing what he would do with the sort of vegetables outside and all that sort of stuff and the herbs. Anyway, rhubarb and custard. That is important to me because firstly, the animation technique is interesting because of the jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. And the way they achieved that was by drawing each frame twice and swapping between the two so that it was slightly different each time. And that was that's actually a technique which has been used in a certain very well-known British YouTuber's outro screen. It was the first TV cartoon I saw in colour. And um, it also it scared me once because I got scared of the monster of, the, of a ghost at the end of one of them. Um, Rhubarb Enterprises is another one, of course. Uh, that's that's the company that made it sort of thing. OK, another one that people tend to forget about is One Upmanship. In One Upmanship, uh, he was playing a sort of tutor who was able to uh, achieve superiority and telling people how to do that. And I remember one particular scene where he's wine tasting. He dips a pen torch into a glass of red wine and says, tram lines because that's like part of the jargon that you would use. So you make up your own jargon in order to intimidate other people and that sort of thing. Another one which is often forgotten is the other one, which is ironic, which has got Michael Gambon in it. Um, and he was again playing a person who was a little bit more like the bloking um, in uh, ever decreasing circles uh, there, which I'm gonna to come to in a minute. Uh, the other one is forgotten, basically. Um, I don't think he liked it very much, um, but it's quite interesting. And I got a bit worried about the bloke getting hit by the um, cricket ball at the end of the first series. So there's that. Now, Ever Decreasing Circus is, of course, something that Liz is a big fan of and she's watched a lot. I think it's sort of gently subversive, um, talking about the madness of suburbia again. So there's a suburban element again, which is quite interesting. And he was actually, in a way, quite a sort of middle class suburban person as well. Um, and then finally, uh, I haven't seen much of his serious work, but I did see him in Much Ado About Nothing, the film. And uh, yeah, that was pretty good, although it doesn't particularly stick in my mind. Emma Thompson sticks in my mind more and Kenneth Branagh, of course, because that's what Kenneth Branagh is like. Um, and the other thing is the last thing I saw him in was actually Torchwood. And Torchwood, he was actually playing someone who's extremely old and immortal. So, so that's quite ironic, really. Um, I'm sure he was good, um, and he was part of my life, but and the life of a lot of other people in this country. And uh, yeah, of course, he's a sad loss. Um, and one thing I thought was interesting that he said was that although he did do a lot of advertising work and so forth, he was getting paid a lot of that and a lot for that. And as a result, he was able to do the more serious stuff like Shakespeare and so on. Um, and in a way, it was like a way of subsidising the theatre because you don't have to be paid as much as you will do otherwise, which I think is quite a good point, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, Webcam Wednesday for today. Um, if you want to subscribe, click here, here. If you want to see yesterday's video, click there. And if you want to see a random video, click there. Uh, and if you want to look at the um, Webcam Wednesday series uh, or playlist, uh, click there. And uh, that's it for now. See you tomorrow.